Good morning. It's surgery day. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I thought it was about time to finally explain to you guys why Neil and I have not been on the road and traveling around as much as we usually are. A lot of you guys have actually picked up on it and I feel like throughout the last few months we've sort of been telling some little white lies about what's going on um, and that was really just to protect my own privacy, do things on my own terms and I finally decided that now's the right time for me to come out and talk about what's been going on. So this actually all started back in September 2021 when Neil noticed a lump on the on my necks here so we were like oh that's weird it just kind of came out of nowhere so of course we wanted to get that checked out to see what was going on so I was able to get in to um, primary care that was in November early November 2021 so he took a look at it and decided hey you should go get an ultrasound on it usually it's just a normal you know, little lump, nothing's going on, nothing's bad. Um, so that was a couple weeks later, so that was December 2021, and the results came back, and I actually had three lumps on the right side of my thyroid, and one of them was large enough and dense enough for them to say, hey, you should go and get that biopsy to make sure there's no cancer, anything of that sort wrong. So flash forward to summer 2022. I had called an endocrinologist in Vermont. I had called an endocrinologist in New Mexico when we were out there and six months, six months wait just to get in to get a biopsy done and with our lifestyle it's so hard to know where we're going to be when and so for me to make an appointment six months out was just absolutely insane. We all know there's issues with our healthcare system. Um, I especially know that being a nurse myself. I just was finally experiencing what it was truly like when you needed something done and to figure out what's going on. So we finally got bound down to Florida in June and I ended up making some phone calls and they were able to get me in so much faster than the other endocrinologists that I'd called. So after I finally got all my phone calls done, figured out where I could go based on my insurance, I ended up going in on August 23rd to see the endocrinologist and he did the biopsy that same day. So he told me I'd have to just await those results. So August 29th rolls around and I get a phone call that I need to get on the line with the doctor and I kind of knew at that point something was probably wrong. So it turns out um, that day, August 29th, that is when I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer. It was very shocking. Um, I think I went through all the regular motions you would expect anyone to be told they have the C word would go through. Yeah, that was that was a little bit of a rough day. Um, I guess the only silver lining was the fact that I had a cancer called papillary carcinoma. And there's four types of thyroid cancer, and that is the best one. <laughs> it's not the best at all, but that's the best one you could get. And he pretty much told me it's a 99% survival rate. So I think that was the one thing that was like, okay, we're, we're going to make it through this. It's all going to be fine, and we just got to take the next steps. What happened from that day is he uh, referred me over to a certain specialist. I waited two weeks, 
two weeks for them to call me back just for them to tell me that they don't accept my insurance. Yeah, so there's been a lot of frustration um, with insurance and it's it really prolonged this whole thing longer than it needed to be. Um, yeah, two whole weeks and they couldn't have told me that when I first had called them. So after waiting that two weeks, I got back in contact with the office and that is when I got in with my current surgeon and they got me in relatively quick. Um, I did have to wait, I think, a week and a half from when I got in contact with them to get my appointment. Um, went to see him. He is probably one of the best doctors out there um, and I would not just say that. He is absolutely excellent. Um, that is when I got scheduled to actually get thyroid surgery, a total thyroidectomy is what I just had done. Um, so that is when that got scheduled. So that was actually the day before my birthday um, on the 28th. A little bit of a crappy birthday this year. I mean, Hurricane Ian came through, all that stuff, um, and I was just waiting to have surgery done. So as you can see, I've got my bandage on. Um, it's been one day, so I got the surgery done on October 20th. It's the next day, I'm doing fantastic. Um, and because I got my thyroid out, that took care of all of the cancer, and I can say that I'm cancer free. Um, that's the best feeling in the world after just such a whirlwind two months of all of this going on and just the waiting game was the most awful part I think of this whole experience that and dealing with our insurance um, modern healthcare is a disaster there is so much more I could talk about when it comes to our insurance and everything that went on but that's just something I'm gonna keep private to ourselves because there is just so much to it So that, with that being said, um, there's a lot of you, my family and some of my friends even, that I did not tell you what was going on. Um, I was pretty private about it. I only told certain people, so I hope you're not offended if you're just finding out now. This was my own personal choice uh, to kind of keep it in a private circle um, of certain people and um, come out with the whole story when you know, it was the right time for me. Um, and I think now, now it is. I've had my surgery, um, just gotta heal up and be able to get back on the road. I'm just really grateful that I was able to, you know, get the health care I needed, even with all the roadblocks. Um, it's, and it's just great. I'm so blessed to be sitting here and just being able to say I no longer have cancer in my body anymore. That is the absolute best feeling because if any of you out there watching have ever had cancer before, you know exactly all of the feelings that I have been going through. And if you haven't, I hope you never have to because it is, it is just a whirlwind. It's a whirlwind of an experience and I'm just fortunate that I don't have to do anything like chemo um, or radiation. There is a chance I might have to take something called radioactive iodine, um, but that was a maybe. And because my lymph nodes looked so good during surgery, I may not have to even do that. I might just be all good and just do all my follow-ups. So. Um, if you've made it this far, thank you so very much for listening to my story. It feels like a weight off my shoulders just getting this out there because I feel like in our videos the last few months people are like, hmm, what the heck's been going on? You guys haven't been traveling as much. You're staying around Florida, which is not the norm for us. Um, 
yeah, I think I don't want this to be too awful long, so I think I'm going to end this here. I just want to thank everybody, um, my family and my few friends um, that knew about this. And thank you guys for all the prayers and the support during this time. It really means so much to me. Um, and I'm just looking forward to getting back on the road with my husband and our two kitty cats and getting back to work really soon, hopefully somewhere out west is where we're hoping to go. Hey guys, I know I already said bye to you, but I wanted to come back on here and give you a little official update. It has now been nine days since I had surgery, and two days ago I got a call from the doctor, and he gave me the official word that I am cancer free. So fantastic, there's Neil, <laughs> fantastic news, we are so excited, and I'm just going to to end this with we are officially getting back on the road in a few days four days we are headed west as they say head west young man head west who says that it's a movie oh <laughs> well then that's why i don't know um anyways guys i'm gonna leave it on a little bit of a mystery note there but we are so happy and so excited to be officially back on the road in a few days so stay tuned and we'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching say bye neil see you guys later about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know about to see